Hey ladies and jellyfish, welcome back to Ask Your's Videos. Today, as a filler video between now and my next video, which is Top 10 BoJack Episodes, I decided to do a bit of a filler video to fill the time in and give you some insight on my thoughts on the BoJack Horseman characters. Today I'm going to be using this tier list made by um, whoever this is, shout out to you who made this. Um, I'm going to be ranking all the BoJack characters. These are pretty much all the characters um, that we know of. Uh, some of them I don't know, so I'll be putting those in who is this, so you can see the, the, the rankings and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, tell me your your uh, your favorite BoJack characters in the comments below. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this. And if you uh, want to see my next video, which is Top 10 Best BoJack Episodes, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. Anyway, let's jump into this uh, tier list. So, uh, between the five main characters here, BoJack is definitely my favorite character unironically, so we'll put him in S tier. I think Diane's great too, I'll put her in A tier. Uh, I, th I think she got um, a lot more interesting towards the end of the show with the antidepressants and stuff like that. In the beginning she was a little bratty and annoying, but uh, by the end I think she got a little better. Uh, Mr. Peanut Butter, not a huge fan of his character, but he does have a lot of great moments. Again, in the later seasons he gets a little more uh, likable, like when Bojack goes to prison. Um, but he does get a little annoying sometimes with things like the Joey Pogo subplot, which I touched on in my last BoJack Horseman video. Um, speaking of Joey Pogo, wherever Joey Pogo is here, I'm gonna put him in a very low spot. I gotta find him here. Uh, anyway, we'll get to him eventually. Alright, anyway, let's move back. So, Todd, I'm gonna put Todd in A tier as well. I think he's a really great character. Probably the most likable of the five main characters. He's like the comic relief, but I think they made, did a good job of making him uh, pretty likable. Uh, PC, I'll put her in B tier. Um, she doesn't have, she's not like the most likable character, but she has a lot of interesting character uh, moments in the show, and I think she deserves to be B tier. Next, we have Charlotte. I think Charlotte's an interesting character. I'm going to put her in B tier. I, I kind of wish they did more with her character. Um, actually, yeah, for that reason, I'm going to put her in C tier. Speaking of Charlotte, we got to talk about Penny. Penny, I'll put her in B tier. Um, next, we have Beatrice Horseman. Beatrice Horseman is definitely going in S tier. A lot of my favorite episodes are with Beatrice, as you'll find out in my next uh, video. I'll, I'll talk about all the top 10 best episodes and... Beatrice is definitely in a lot of them. I, that's all I'm saying. Next, we have most of her family. So I'll put Joseph in A. I'll put Cracker Jack in uh, C because we didn't really get to see him that much. But Joseph was really hardcore, especially in Times Arrow. And then I'll put Honey in B. I think she got a lot of good moments in uh, the old Sugarman place. Gina, I'm a complete simp for, so we're going to put her in A tier. Um, please don't make this a thing in the comments. <laughs> Um, and then Secretariat, I'm gonna put Secretariat in S tier, I think he's, his character is amazing. Same with Sarah Lynn, I think uh, That's Too Much Man is one of the best episodes, and same with View from Halfway Down, both of which she's very heavily featured, in fact this thumbnail is from uh, The View from Halfway Down. A Ryan Seacrest type, I'm gonna put Ryan Seacrest type as B tier, because I really love his character. Uh, oh yeah, the guy who died from um, the erotic assassination or whatever it was called. I'm going to put him in D tier, because, like, why? Uh, I don't remember who this is. I think this was one of the paparazzi guys. I'm going to put him in D tier as well. Same with Mr. Peanut Butter's brother. Not a big fan of that character. He was only in one or two episodes anyway. Vincent, adult man, we're putting in no. Same with the girl from Planned Obsolescence. Um... I'm, I'm going to move around here a little bit. I'm not going to keep going in order. So, uh, Chicken, we're putting that in no. Hollyhock, I love Hollyhock. She's going in A. Um, Anna, also a simp for her, but not as much as Gina. We're, we'll put her in C. Uh, the Cow from the, uh, the Cafe, probably C as well. I don't know who this is. Eddie is awesome. I'll put Eddie in S tier. Same with uh, Judah. Judah is a legend. Uh, I don't know who this is, or this. This is another person from Planned Obsolescence. Uh, and then we got uh, Mr. Peanut Butter's girlfriend for a while. Not a huge fan of this character. I, I kind of found her unlikable, and the whole cheating on Mr. Peanut Butter thing for payback or whatever, that wasn't really that funny in my opinion. She was also in a lot of episodes with Joey Pogo, and I hate Joey Pogo with a passion, so... Yeah, not a big fan, as you can tell. I'm trying to find Joey Pogo here, but... 
just to put him where he belongs. I think the person who made this probably forgot him, or I'm just blind. One of the two. Oh, there he is. I hate him. That's, that's going in now. And then we got the, the troop from the second episode. He's going in C tier. I love him. Uh, and then Lemmy, voiced by the amazing J.K. Simmons. Just for that, he's going in B tier because I'm a big fan of J.K. Simmons. Um, as you can tell from some of my videos, if you're a hardcore fan, you see I use a lot of Whiplash uh, music in my, in my videos. Uh, Pinky Penguin, not a huge fan of his character. He got a little annoying sometimes. I'll put him in D tier. Same with, um, what was this guy's name? Henry Witherspoon or whatever. I'll put him in D as well. Um, yeah, looking around, I'm trying to find, so like Guy, Guy is good too. I'll put him in B. Guy, Guy was just a legend. He was, his, his name is very, very complicated. It has a lot of meaning to it. So we got to put him there. Butterscotch Horseman. Now, Butterscotch Horseman, I'm going to put in A tier. I think his character was fantastic. Um, but not really as good as his wife um, in terms of the development. But a lot of episodes, like Free Churro or um, a, a lot of others, Times Arrow, he gets a, a lot of um, great moments. Uh, this is the goat that Beatrice dated for a while. I'm gonna put him in C tier. Not a big. I mean, he didn't really get a lot of moments, but that scene where she throws up on him and he does the goat scream, pretty hilarious. Um, but that's where he ends for me. Um, oh yeah, this is the pig who was in that dress and she always had the British accent. I hate her character. She was literally super annoying. Um, Sixteen Aquafina is going in D tier. George Clooney. He's going in uh, D tier also. He wasn't really funny. I, I remember there was also a, a Leonardo DiCaprio character. And also Quentin Tarantino, who I'm sad he's not here. Because he's going in S tier if he was here. Quentin uh, Tarantino. Because I'm a big Tarantino fan. I, I loved his character. Um, the whale who does the, the news. Also voiced by J.K. Simmons. He's going in the B tier as well. Wanda. Uh, I like Wanda, but, um, she didn't really get a lot of time to her, but uh, I like her. She was really funny in the episode with Daniel Radcliffe. I'm gonna put her in C. Actually, I'll put her in B. She was pretty likable. Unlike a lot of characters in this show. Um, oh, Herb is definitely going in S tier. Herb is just a great character in general. I think he was probably the most likable character in the show, and the one that probably, out of all the people who died and who Bojack hurt throughout the show... Herb is definitely the most, um, I don't know, I connected with him the most. Kyle from, uh, from Escape from L.A., he's also going to nest here. Uh, ironically, he's the best character in this show. Um, and also, I don't know if this is Pete Repeat, but if it is Pete Repeat, he's also the best character, ironically. I'm going to put him in S tier as well. A lot of characters from Escape from L.A. were pretty funny. Uh, next is uh, the guy who made Filbert, the uh, guy voiced by Rami Malek, who I'm a big fan of, so he's going in uh, B tier. Um, let's see, this was uh, Diane's dad, not a big fan. I don't know who these guys are. Uh, let's see, oh, this was Felicity Huffman. Um, I'll put her in D tier, not a big fan. This was Todd's uh, girlfriend for a while. I'm going to put her in C tier. Uh, didn't really like her that much. Uh, Emily, right? Emily, the one who Bojack slept with one episode. Yeah, not a big fan of that character, but she did get a lot of cool moments. Um, Kelsey Jannings, I'm going to put her in C tier. She got a lot of cool moments in like episodes like Fish Out of Water. But other than that, uh, not a big fan of this character. But uh, she, she's like a cool director character, um, so you got to give her that. Um, this is the dude who was in Horsin' Around. He played the little kid with Sarah Lynn, so I'm going to put him in C tier also. I kind of wish we got more from him, to be honest, but Sarah Lynn was a lot more meaningful to be, to, to I, I'm guessing. Um, next is the rehab guy from, uh, who gets drunk in the end of it. I'm going to put him in C tier as well. I think he was pretty funny sometimes. Zach Braff, I'm going to put him in D tier. Nothing against him, it's just not really an interesting character uh this is diane's like one of diane's family members okay 
this was, uh, I forgot her name. It was like Maud or something. It was one of Todd's girlfriends. I'm going to put her in C. She was pretty likable. You know, there's not a lot of bunny characters in the show, so I'll take what I can get, I guess. This was the kid from uh, from Escape from L.A. I'm going to put him in, like, B tier as well. He was the one, he was Penny's uh, brother. Um, I don't know who most of these people are. I, I, I recognize their faces, but I don't quite remember where they were from. So I'm just going to put them in here. This was one of those actresses, but I also forget who she was. This guy, uh, yeah, none of these characters are coming to mind. I'll put Ruthie in C tier. The spikes that poke out from the back of her shirt just always gave me the wrong impression. It was really weird. Um, so yeah, the, the cop is also pretty good. I'll put him actually in B tier. Uh... Margot Martindale is going straight into S tier. Actually, I'll put her in A tier. A tier doesn't have a lot of characters. Um, I, I forgot who this guy was. There's a lot of characters here who I remember were pretty funny, but I don't quite remember who they are. So, um, this was the guy who dated Princess Carolyn for a while. I'll put him in C. Daniel Radcliffe was hilarious. I'm going to put him in B. And I think out of these characters, that's about it. I'm going to put them all here. I don't know what the point is, but whatever. Let's just do it anyway. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you agreed with my list. I'll, I'm going to reveal it in a minute. Let me just finish here. I'll also be sharing this on Twitter, so be sure to follow me on Twitter at Mr. Ask Air. And join the Discord server to chat with me and a lot of other members. We have a lot of fun there. We recently had a movie night there. It was a lot of fun. We could always use more members. So be sure to join in the description below. This is my list. Tell me what you agree with, what you disagree with. And give me your list of favorite characters in the comments below. And I'll see you ladies and jellyfish next time. Ciao.